Hello, my darlings, and welcome. Today, I'd like to talk to you about how to find and bond with your spirit animal. Let's do some magical crafting. In many cultures and throughout history, people have developed relationships with animals on a deep spiritual level. Developing a bond with one or more spirit animals can be a wonderful tool for self-development. Your guides can help you find the power you need to overcome obstacles, to find success in business and interpersonal relationships, make difficult decisions, and literally anything else you might call on your spirit guides to help you with. Animal medicine is powerful, and when embraced and used regularly, it can make you feel supported, protected, and powerful in your own right. Spirit animals and animal totems can provide guidance, protection, and help. Every animal brings a different energy and message, but all are here to guide you. You may have more than one spirit guide or totem animal, and you can use spirit guide oracle cards to get messages from animals of all types. You will identify with a specific animal when it reveals itself to you. A particular animal may possess an energy that you resonate with and feel drawn to, but how do you find your guides? If you would like to discover and connect with your spirit guide or totem animal, you may wish to spend time in nature where animals can be found. This can include hiking or walking in nature. You may wish to visit a local park or even a national park. Depending on where you live, nature may be just outside your front door. Or you might have to search for it if you live in a densely urban area. You may wish to extend your connection to nature by camping overnight, especially if you want to connect with nocturnal animal life. If you're close to a shoreline, you may wish to spend time at the river or the beach, and if the weather permits, you might even want to immerse yourself in the water. Not everyone can go on safari, but a more local option to connect with exotic animals in an outdoor setting might be to visit a zoo, an animal park, a petting zoo, or even a farm can't get out of the house and go hiking, that's okay. Take a moment to look out your window and see who may have come to visit you. I love to look out my office window at the rosemary bush, and while it's not always in bloom, when it does flower, it attracts bees and hummingbirds. I also feed a family of crows, and they visit me from time to time along with a fledgling red-tailed hawk and many pigeons and morning doves. In the springtime, I get visits from rabbits, and lizards sun themselves in my yard year-round. Another way to make a connection with your spirit animal is meditation. This can happen in nature or in the comfort of your home, or even in your office or car in a pinch. Create a quiet and calm location and get into a comfortable position. Concentrate on your breath. Begin your meditation session by setting the intention that you intend to contact your spirit guide or animal totem. Give a firm directive to both your subconscious mind and your spirit by repeating a phrase or affirmation. Send this energy out into the animal spirit realm as well. Hold the thought firmly in your mind that you wish to connect with your animal totem. Silently to yourself, repeat your affirmation to meet your animal spirit in your dreams. You may wish to say something like this. I'm open and ready to receive my spirit guide. I'm listening for guidance and messages from the spirit realm. My spirit guide connects with me, protects me, it guides me, and I accept its wisdom and energy into my life. One way your spirit guide may contact you is through repeatedly showing up in your life. This can happen over the course of days or weeks or all at once. For example, you may be at a coffee shop and notice the tattoo on your barista's arm as he hands you your drink. Later that day, walking down the street, a billboard may catch your eye. And then, a few minutes later, as you pass a bakery, you might see a cake with another reminder from the universe that your spirit guide's energy is reaching out to nudge you. The universe may also bring you your spirit animal in your dreams. If an animal repeatedly shows up in your dreams, it may be trying to tell you something. If you keep a dream journal, try to take note of what the animal was doing and how you reacted to it in your dream. What was it trying to communicate? You may get clues from colors, sounds, and moods or feelings. 
Dreams are a common way for spirit animals to contact you when it would be otherwise impossible to make a connection in nature. You may never have the opportunity to swim with a whale in the ocean, but you might find yourself doing just that in a dream. Dreams can be a safe space to get to know your spirit animal, especially if it's something you fear. Are you afraid of snakes or spiders or any other animals? It's possible that these animals have guidance to give you, but because of your dislike or fear, you might be hesitant to learn about them. In your dreams, a snake or spider might become your friend or a protector. These interactions and messages are significant and serve a purpose. When your spirit guide wants to catch your attention, you might notice unusual behavior. Perhaps a usually shy bird or animal will approach you or seek you out. Or you may notice unusual patterns of behavior from a spirit animal who's making contact with you. When you've discovered your spirit animal, the next step is to invite it into your life and open your heart to the messages and guidance it can bring you. You may wish to study the animal to learn more about its behaviors and the archetypes associated with it. Call on your spirit guides when you need help with a problem. Tell them what you need help with and invite your spirit guides to reveal solutions. You can do this through prayer or meditation. You may wish to make a list of your questions or items that you want guidance about and ask your guides help by using oracle cards. Create a single or multiple card spread with your specific questions. Simply allow yourself to be open to the wonder of that guidance and don't forget to practice gratitude. When you receive any form of guidance, thank the spirit guide that brought it to you even if they send a hard lesson or something you do not want to hear. Once you've studied and bonded with your spirit guide, you may wish to create a talisman to keep in your home or car or on your person to remind you of their presence and guidance in your life. This can also take the form of jewelry, or it could be home decor that reminds you that your spirit guides are always by your side. Some people get tattoos to keep their totem animals close to them while others make their spirit guides a daily part of their lives by attracting them into their homes or keeping representations on their phones or by adding them to daily life in many other ways. Spirit guides can be amazing messengers and teachers if you keep your heart open to receive their guidance and learn the lessons they share with you. They can help you feel more powerful and confident, get you out of a sticky situation, and even help you cope with grief or loss. They offer love, healing, and support during difficult times, and sometimes they arrive to remind you to play and have more fun, get creative and productive, or help you find romance. 